Okay, good afternoon, children. So, in our previous class, we saw division. Yes. Now we'll see the word sums based on the division. Okay. Word sums. So division of two digit, three digit numbers we saw. Okay. Now here you can see. I'll take one example. There are fifty-two thousand and ninety-eight apples to be packed in eighty boxes. How many apples will be there in each box? And how many apples will be left over? Now here we have to find left over also, and how many apples there will be in each box? Okay, so what is given? Can you tell me? What is given here, children? Page yeah, number. Yeah, page number forty. Words are you are able to hear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma so here it is given that total number of apples. Packed in sixteen boxes. So many is given. We have to find for one box. So many to one. When we are finding many to one, then that time we need to divide. Yes, very good. So here first we will write here number of apples. Total number of apples. Of apples in sixteen boxes. Okay, fifty-two thousand ninety-eight. Now we have to find so in one box something. So number of apples in one box is equal to. Fifty-two thousand ninety-eight divided by sixteen. Okay, so we will divide here by sixteen. Now here, sixteen table. You should know the sixteen table here. Sixteen here first two digits are fifty-two. So in sixteen table. Two hundred and fifty-six, but two apples will remain. 
Fifty, they have asked how many apples will be left over. So out of fifty-two thousand ninety-eight, two apples will remain. Okay. So like this, we have to write the statements. You can write your own statements also, but you have to solve it properly and write the answer. Okay. Understood. So word sums. Okay. Now again, you are having one uh, one more exercise. There you can see the problem solving skill. Means here different types of word sums are there. So those word sums you have to read and understand it properly. Okay. You are having one more exercise. Yes, we we'll see those how to do. Okay. Okay. So what what we have to do? They have given here. See. So these types problem solving. These word sums. How to solve? First step. There are some steps. First, what you have to do? Read and understand the problem carefully. Whichever problem is given, we have to read it and understand it carefully. Second, find the facts given in the question. Means what? What things are given? Like in apple, how number of apples were given? Like that. In word sums, what? What things are given? That you should know first. Second, make a mental picture of the question. Means mentally think that what we have, what is given, and what we have to do. Means we have to add, or we have to subtract, or we have to uh, multiply or divide. That you have to think mentally. Okay. Next, solve the question step by step. Means solve it. If you have to do add. You add. If you have to do subtraction, subtract. So that solution. And last is check your answer. Means your answer is correct or wrong. So these steps we have to follow for these word sums. Okay? Yes. So we will solve. We will see first sum. We will see first sum. Problem solving skill. Okay, two lakh sixty three thousand nine hundred and fifty three. So they have not given in numbers. They have given in words. So that words first you have to write what is given. What is given in solution? We have to write what is given. So two lakh sixty three thousand. Two lakh. Sixty-three thousand nine hundred and fifty-three. Nine hundred fifty-three visitors visited the trade fair on Sunday. So one one line you have to read and you have to understand it. So what is given here that on Sunday there was a fair. Fair, you know. What do you mean by fair? Mela. Yes. So on Sunday there was a fair. There, how many visitors? How many people went? Two lakh sixty-three thousand nine hundred and fifty-three. Yes. Now see second. First line understood. Now see second line. Four lakh. Thirty-three thousand visited on Monday. This on Sunday, and on Monday, four lakh thirty-three thousand. On Monday, how many people? Monday they have visited. Next, on Tuesday, on Tuesday how many people went? Three lakh. Twenty thousand six hundred and fifty-six. Three lakh twenty thousand six hundred and fifty-six. They visited on Tuesday. 
Okay, so these things are given. First, what things are given? We should understand and write. Okay, so these things are given. Now, what we have to find? How many visitors in all visited the trade fair in these three days? So, what they are asking? That total three days. Total, how many people went? So, what you have to do here? Yes. So, in these word sums, you are having all types of word sums. Addition also, subtraction also, multiplication and division. All four types are there. So, you should read it carefully. What is given, you should write and you should understand what you have to find. If you have to find total, you have to add. You have to find less than, more than, you have to subtract. And when you have to find many things, one is given and many you have to find, you have to multiply. And if one is, more is given, less you have to find, you have to divide. Okay, these things you have to remember. Then only you can do these words. Okay, so here, after doing this, what will have asked? These things in rough, inside you can write an A. Afterwards, you have to solve it as word sum only. Okay, then here solution will come. So here, number of visitors visited fair on first we write on Monday two then on Tuesday four lakh thirty three thousand then on Wednesday Three lakh twenty thousand six hundred fifty-six. Now we have to find total number. So total number. Total number of visitors. Add and take me the answer. multiplication and in division. So when we are estimating these operations, that time what you have to do? You have to first round off the number and find the actual uh, solution and the estimated solution also. Means we have to see, we have to compare that we are getting the estimated same as actual. Actual means how we add like that. Means for example, uh, if any number is there. Nine. 
9 and 4 is there. Now, if we round off this, this will be, okay, I will take two digit number, this 19 and 14. If we round off this 19, it will be nearer to 20 and 14 will be nearer to 10. 10, because it is less than 5, 14 will be nearer to 10 when we round off. So, when we add it, what we will get? 30 and when we add this, we will get 33. Yes, so this is the actual this is the actual sum, actual addition, and this is the estimated. Estimated. Okay, imaginary, estimated. So, both are nearly equal. Yes, when you th round off 33, you will get 30 only, no? Yes, so in this class, you, we have to see that our actual operation and the estimated it is nearly equal or not okay so here we have to add also we have to subtract also we have to multiply and divide it okay so this is estimated operations understood yes so we will see how we can solve these sums Okay, estimated how we can solve this sum. Purple 44 page number. Here you can, uh, we are having, we have to find the actual also and estimated also. Both we have to find. Okay, only word sums you are having based on this estimated. See your first one, 40, uh, 44. 44 page number. Okay, okay. Estimation in operations. Okay. So we we'll see uh, some examples based on this. How we can do estimation? Okay. So see first one. Lena just transferred 35,405 from her bank account. As a result, the account now has 15,236 left in it. Means Lena had more amount in her bank. But from that amount, she has transferred 35,000. 405. Okay. And in her bank account, 50,000 is there still. After transferring amount also, she is having 50,000. Now, what we have to find? How much money was there? Total how much amount was there in her bank account before transferring? So, we have to find total amount how much it was there. So, what we have to do here? Yes, we have to do addition here. Okay. So, first we will write here. How to solve C? Here method is same. Only little difference is there. Here we have to find the actual also. And the uh, estimated also. Okay. So, first we will write here. The solution that amount transfer amount transfer one thirty four thousand four hundred five yes I'll write shortly thirty five thousand four hundred five amount remaining in that amount how much? 50,000 and 50,000 Now what we have to do here? 
we know that we have to add, we have to find total. So here, actual sum and here it becomes estimated sum. So in actual sum, you have to write the same value. Here, 35,405 and here 50,236. And we have to add. And here, we have to find the estimated. First we'll add. Okay, add and the answer. Yes, 85,641 is actual. Now after rounding off, we have to round off 2,000. Round off 2,000. This round of 2,000 is first thing. Here it is 35,005. So how will you round off? 5 is there. Round of 2000, not 10,000. We have to round of 2000. So 54, 5400 is nearer to 5000 or 6000? 5000, yes. So here it will come 35,000. Yes. Now we have 50,000. 236. Here yeah. it is 236 is nearer to what? It is 50,000. It will be 50,000 only. Yes? Not 1,000. 50,000 will be now. So what will come here when you add it? 85. So this is actual sum 85,641 and this is estimated. Now tell me they are nearly equal. They are equal nearly. When you round off this, no, when you round off this, what do you mean? 600. It will become 86 now. But here we are not asked to compare. Just we have to find the actual estimated. Okay, so this is the answer. Understood how to do? Okay, we'll see one. We'll see some more examples. We'll see some more examples. Only you have to find the actual and estimated. It seems like a word sum only. Okay. See fourth one. A factory produces 18,426 cars every month. In one month, they are preparing 18,426 cars. So how many are cars are produced in one year? They are asking in one year. So what we have to do? One month is given. We have to find for one year. Which operation you can use? Subtraction. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, which? Yes, multiplication. See here. Production of car in one month is given. We have to find for 12 months. So, one too many. Multiplication. Okay, so first read the question clearly and understand. Okay. 
Now, so we write here. Now, what is page number? Page number forty-four, Sartha. Okay, so what is given here? Fourth question, we are doing. What is given? Number of cars. Cars produced. In one month, in one month, eighteen thousand four hundred and twenty-six. Now we have to find number of cars produced in one year. One year means twelve months. Okay. So here also. We have to write the actual product. We are doing multiplication, so you have to write product. When we are doing subtraction, you have to write actual difference and uh, estimated difference. For division, only you can write actual and estimated. Uh, question also you can write. Okay. For division, it's not. Compulsory, but here for addition, some you have to write for subtraction, difference, and for multiplication, product. So actual product, and here estimated product. So your actual eighteen thousand four hundred twenty-six multiplied by twelve. And here estimated. Now, estimated you have to round off. Round off two thousand. So eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand four hundred. Four hundred is there. So this will be here round off to eight thousand or nine thousand. Eight thousand. Why? Because four is there. So here. If you have five more than five, if number is there, then it will be one plus you have to do round off, rounding off numbers. Okay. So here this will become nineteen thousand, no eighteen thousand, and here two digit is there. So you have to round off to uh, tens. So twelve will be nearer to ten or twenty. Ten. Okay, in product, in multiplication like this, you have to do. The bigger number you have to round off to thousand, and the two digit number you have to round off to ten. Okay, so multiply this twelve six up seventy two. Seventy two. Twelve two up. Twenty-four plus seven. Mama, sir, twenty-four plus twenty-one plus twenty-one. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Well, two plus forty-eight. Twelve plus twenty-one. Well, forty-two plus.
find it. Okay. So understood how to do estimated. Yes. So similarly, you are having for uh, addition, for subtraction, multiplication, and division also. This actual is actual and estimated. Both we have to find. Okay. Estimate. 